Welcome back to Mr. Ray Game, everyone. Doing a bit of a different video today. Um, just figured I uh, might as well try something new on the channel. Um, still Breath of the Wild related, but I got this cool book and I figured, well, everyone loves Breath of the Wild. So I might as well show off this book because um, it's really cool. Um, yeah, one of the coolest birthday presents I've gotten in a very long time. Uh, but this here is the special edition of Creating a Champion. Let me see if I can get that there. Creating a Champion. So. Um, they've done a few Zelda books in the past where um, they did the Hyrule Historia, they did the Arts and Artifacts, and there's another blue book that they made before this one here. Um, and they're all just really cool, full of art and info, all just Zelda lore, which is really cool. Um, this one normally comes in like a white book and it's got cool pictures of the champions and stuff on the front and everything. But this one here is like a special edition, which is really cool. So I figured I'll show you all the cool things that come with this because it is really cool and hope you enjoy this. And um, yeah, so um, so this is the special edition here. Um, and basically it comes with a, a couple of cool things. So first of all, there's a little compartment here. Let me see if I can just get that nice. Okay, so you open this. And then in here it says, may the goddess smile upon you. That's really cool. And then get your own spirit orb which is really cool it's kind of hard to see but if you get it in the light properly you can see there's like a hylian crest in there yeah so it's so it's really cool i think that's really sick that they did that there we go there nice um so you get that that's really sick you get your own spirit orb to take with you on your adventure before we get to the book there's also some other stuff as well so we'll take the book out Probably my favourite part of this whole special edition thing, besides the book, is in the Champion's Ballad. Um, at the end of the Champion's Ballad, spoiler alert, if you haven't played Champion's Ballad, don't listen. You get a picture by Cass, which is like taken before the Great Calamity and everything. Click snap! Aww! That's so beautiful! What a happy photo! Um, Cass gives it to you after you do all the champion stories and then it's got the quote here By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes I was thinking you should be the one to keep it from Cass and you get your own framed photo Which is really cool and in Breath of the Wild Link puts it in his house in Hitino Village So you get your own champion's ballad picture, which is super awesome. Love that super cool You also get this little envelope here. Let me take it out you get your own massive Hyrulean map. A map? Like, this is massive. You know, I'm gonna have to get another shot with this. Literally takes up the whole whole camera frame. So I'll get another shot of this, but literally the whole map of Hyrule right here. A lot more detail than the map you get in, like, the special edition of the game. That map is a whole lot smaller. You know what? I'm gonna get it off the wall. I've got it hanging on the wall. So this is the map you get in the special edition of the game that came out in Australia. And then you get this one with the creating a champion book and it is huge like it is so big it's probably like an a2 piece of paper so much more detail and it feels kind of felty like this this front bit feels felty the back is kind of like just like a paper thing but the front of it so you know just you know just woo paper yeah great yeah but this side feels like really kind of kind of fabricy and gives it that kind of feel of like this is actually like a map imagine if Link had to take this on his adventure instead of his Sheikah Slate. That would have been hilarious. But anyway, yeah, so that's the map. Um, that's, oh, just hit, yeah, bonk the microphone. I think that's pretty awesome. But anyway, the book. This is the book, Creating a Champion. And I think it's just so cool. I love any type of book with like, you know, developer artwork and designs and, you know, ideas leading up to the game and everything. Um, and it's got some cool designs of what they were trying to envision for Link before they kind of got that Breath of the Wild style that they were going for. So, um, yeah, I'll show you, show you a few pages, um, personal favourites and everything. First thing, open your eyes. Cool. Sick. Um, key art, so that's normally what you'd see on the original version of creating a champion. Um, we've got this one at the front. Here's some um, illustration rough designs. So like um, this one here is kind of what that final design of Link climbing everything would go would look like, but that's like the original design. But yeah, it looks really cool. Um, just to see what they were kind of going for at the beginning. So you got this picture here and then it kind of looks 
into this picture as well, which is pretty cool. Um, that's the final design. Um, so yeah, here's the original design of this one here. Yeah, so it's just all really cool seeing like what they originally thought of and then going into what what we kind of know the games look like now. See, this one here is going to be like the final art design for like the game cover, which is really sick. Which is this one here. So like really cool to just see what they thought of at the beginning to now, which is awesome. Here's the original design for like the European box art and then what we look at here. Personally, I love this one so much better because it just looks so much more epic. Sorry guys, uh, the birds are cool. I do really like the birds. That's really cool, the nice foreshadowing there. Uh, this was in the Famitsu magazine when uh, Link Between Worlds Link was passing on the Master Sword to Breath of the Wild Link, which is really cool. Um, yeah, uh, it's cool to see like the original artwork being made and everything. Let's move forward a bit, because um, we've actually, let's quickly fly through these, because it's cool. Just cool artwork. That's great. Love that. This is, okay. This picture here actually was made into a puzzle, which is really cool. And I've never been able to actually find the puzzle because I do love a good puzzle. Like you've seen my Majora's Mask puzzle and my Wind Waker puzzle. I really love like a really sick Breath of the Wild puzzle like this. This would look so cool. Um, but yeah, this artwork is Windblight Ganon. You got Va Birdbrain in the background as well and Link, you know, going for the final strike, which is really sick. Um, you've got the Champion's Ballad artwork. Love this artwork here. Just, yeah, the cool visual artwork that they, you know, all the final stuff is so cool. Oh, this page here. Here's some other artwork that you might see on like the social media accounts and everything. I remember seeing this on a Valentine's Day post on Twitter that Nintendo posted, which was really cool. I never saw this one out in the wild, but that's really cool. It's a nice guardian light lit up for Christmas, which is really funny. Got your master sword. This used to be my background on my computer. Character art, here we go. Um, got your Calamity Ganon. Got your, got your Rider Link and everything. Got Zelda. Cool, cool just sketches of like Zelda's framing and what she should look like and everything. Um, there's some more in-depth stuff here and you've got all your champions. Here we go, development. This is interesting because then like you get to see what they really wanted Link to look like at the beginning to like now. <laughs> so, um, ah, he's naked. Ah. So they kind of kind of had that halfway Wind Waker style, and then also like the Skyward Sword type baggy pants and stuff. Um, but then and they also had like this like oh what if he was a modern Link and he was wearing jeans and drove a motorbike, <laughs> which is. Really cool. Um, I'm glad they didn't go that route and apparently the instrument was supposed to be like a guitar. <laughs> the power of the Tricaster, that's what they say there. Um, even got Wolf Link, cool little rough designs. Let's go, apparently it was supposed to talk. This is a cool picture of rough designs of Link hiding in a cave with his horse. That's really cool. Just all of this is really cool, all right? If I say really cool a million times, then it's just because all of it's really cool. Here you go. This is what Ze here, the original Zelda designs. This is the final design, I'm pretty sure. Um, but you know, they you know went through like hairstyle, clothes, um, her her goddess tunic. But yeah, they also went through like through different styles, more like a Skyward Sword style here. That style looks really cool. The old style, like brown, bushy hair and everything. Is more of a Skyward Sword, Zelda. I think maybe a lot of them were thinking, you know, we've got Skyward Sword, how do we evolve Zelda from that? Like, how do we how do we evolve the characters that were going in the next game, but still, like, keep that same kind of style? Oh, here we go, we've got the Ganons now. Ganons are really cool. Um, so here's, here's a big render of Calamity Ganon. Ganon's Cocoon. This one here is an incomplete Ganon. So, like, they didn't... They didn't finalize this one, but this is just like Ganon cutting sick with fire and flames and everything. Got your Dark Beast. Phantom Ganon. Oh yeah, the Phantom Ganon. I think this is really interesting because a lot of people give Breath of the Wild flack for not having like different bosses. 
um, because at the end of, at the end of the day, Ganon's there all the time. But in developer's note, it says, throughout this lengthy open world game, I wanted players to feel Ganon's presence at all times. I believe that having manifestations of Ganon appear in each of the Divine Beasts creates a sense that Ganon is always right there next to Link at every step. They were born of Ganon's obsessive hatred and fixation on revival, so I designed them with that horrible thought in mind. I included the red hair to make them visually reminiscent of Ganon. So that's kind of cool. Like, I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, the Breath of the Wild bosses, you know, they're all the same. But like, I think that's what the developers were going for, just to make people feel like, oh my gosh, Ganon's here all the time. Like, I still haven't defeated Ganon. You look at Hyrule Castle, Ganon's there. So like, whenever you, you find these big bosses, it's like, well, well, yeah, that's the main point. Ganon's here. Got some champion styles as well. This is Mipha. This is Got Lord Daruk. Got Rivali. Got a Bolsa. And even got like, they even go through the designs of like the old man and different Hylians and stuff, which is really cool. Like they really spared no detail here. They just went for all of it. They even got Beetle, Gerudo Merchants, Hudson, the Bolson Construction Company. See, so look, here's, here's the original designs for. Bolson, he was gonna be like a fat man. And then just like some small designs of like other Hylians, even like the Hylian children as well. They've really just gone for all of it here. Here you go, even like Sheikah styles as well. It's like the Sheikah warriors. Got the Pikango. Even got Pyre, they've got designs for Pyre. And Impa. Cool, which is literally Pyre in Age of Calamity. I think it's interesting to see like the rough designs of Pura. Theme, punk rock girl. And it's really funny to see how in Age of Calamity, they've gone for like the younger Pura before she turned into like a child. So um, cool to see that come across into Age of Calamity. Robbie for Smash. Oh yes, the Yiga clans here. Good old Master Koga. What a guy. Look, sure, he could be lazy. He could eat his bananas all the time. But he's developed this cult of the Yiga clan and that deserves some praise. <laughs> Good on you, Master Koga. Whatever you're doing, you're doing a great job, man. You've got the Zora. Your typical females and the children Zoras and you're going, ah, I'm <laughs> uh, You've got Sidon. This is, so this is what original Sidon was supposed to look like. He was supposed to be a grey fish. Eventually they change him to a pink fish. Sidon's final design was grey, but since it is dark and raining in Zora's domain when Link first arrives, he didn't stand out enough against the background. He also felt a little too different from his sister, so when he was rendered for the game, he was changed to be the same colour as Mipha. That's very interesting. All the artwork is him in grey, but then in the game, he is pink. So there you go. Really cool. Dorothan. And you got the Gorons. Let's move forward a little bit more because, you know, uh, there could be some other stuff in this book. Like, I haven't read all of it, but it is cool to just flick through it and see all the cool artwork in this massive open world game. There's Cass! My boy Cass! Casanova. You've got your Gerudos. Alright, let's, let's just kind of flick. flick quicker. So you've got your Gerudos. Actually, let's go... Riju's here, cool. So the Thunder Helm doesn't doesn't really fit Riju properly, and they've got artwork <laughs> for it, which is really funny. And then, yeah, you got your Gerudo warriors as well. Even like the horse spirit is in there. The rough design of the horse spirit here—that's funny. Just it was actually like some horse Lionel type thing. Even the fairies. Oh, well, here we go. This is what we're all here for. We're here for the Korok seeds. <laughs> the Korok seeds. See, this This is Hestu's like original designs, which is really funny. That's what he was supposed to look like, and then he turned into this massive behemoth of a tree. Oh, man, monsters. Yeah, sick. So just yeah, quickly flying through all the, all the bad guys. Got your Lionels, Stone Taluses, and like just like the cool designs that they went through just to see um, what it would look like in the final designs. <laughs> I like that picture of Link there. Just like, ah, ah, mom, mom, am I supposed to beat this? They've even gone through like the wildlife as well, which is really cool. 
Like, they've even just done designs of all the wildlife. Even the fish. Fish up there, the birds. They've got different types of sparrows and pigeons and ducks. Like, you don't notice this in the game, but they've designed all of these cool animals. Like, they've made a whole world, which is incredible. Like, I think that's so cool that they went to so much detail. And then you've even got, like, the weapons. Like, they go through all the weapons. How sick is this? Like, the royal stuff, the royal guard stuff, the knight stuff, the rusty stuff as well. Like, all of it's here. Every type of weapon is in this book, which is super cool. Even the clothing, amazing. Good stuff. Even got DLC clothes as well. Korok mask, his helmet, Majora's mask. Like it's all there. It's all here and it's just, it's just really cool to see people just pour their heart and soul into something which so many people love. Like it's just cool to see how they came about all of this stuff. Even the paraglider, they've got like the original designs of what it's supposed to look like. Um, which is just so cool. I like that. But even like the ingredients. Oh my goodness. Like I haven't been up to this part of the book yet. I've <laughs> got just like gone through all the ingredients. Oh man. That's, that's cool. Oh man. Guardians. Okay. We have to go through the Guardians because Guardians are sick. Like their designs are just so cool. This is what the Guardians were supposed to look like. Like these giant, <laughs> giant robots. That's really cool. And then you've got your Divine Beasts. Like all the mechanics and stuff as well. Oh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Just all of it. Really good. Really cool. Here they've got like rough designs for what shrines should look like as well. See like shrines were supposed to have kind of like that skyward sword type light emitting. But then I think they must have changed it to like underground. All that kind of stuff. And you've got central Hyrule. Let's see. I wonder. I wonder if there's like just pictures of like what Hyrule cut. Oh, here we go. Like just what Hyrule should look like. Oh, here we go. That's cool. This is what Hyrule Castle Town was originally supposed to look like before the Great Calamity. How cool is that? Um, I guess we get to see that in Age of Calamity. Um, but like, it's cool to see it before we, we we even get to play the game. This is like what they envisioned. Hyrule as looking like before Ganon comes and destroys everything. How cool is that? The door design here is a placeholder, it says. That's actually a metal door when you, you know, slam the doors open and face Ganon. A lot of these pages here are just like places in the game. Just like things they went through, like original designs, all that kind of stuff. History. Oh, it's got like a, even like a historical thing as well. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this, obviously. But you got like a history of Hyrule type thing where you can like kind of list all the chronological order of everything that happens in Breath of the Wild, which is really cool. Um, yeah, like even history of Hyrule, the history of the Sheikah, the history of the Zora, history of the Gorons. Like it's got the whole lineage of all the different like genres of people, which is really cool. Just barrages of information which is cool like if i had a good few months i could probably go through all of this and just learn everything about this game um but yeah unfortunately we don't have a few months we've just got this video here um but yeah so that's that's uh that's basically the book it's it's really cool um if you can find it out in the wild then by all means i highly recommend picking it up especially if you love collecting things with artwork and you know developer designs and um let developer chats where they go through everything and talk about why they did what they did for things um yeah i think it's really cool um but yeah that's that's the book um just wanted to show that um to everyone just because i think it's really cool um and i don't often get to show stuff um that i have lying around the studio very often and i thought this was really cool and because it's breath of the wild um, hopefully everyone watches it and they're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So um, if you do like this video, first of all, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed just all the pictures and me trying to explain everything. Um, so if you like the video, make sure you smash that like button. 
And if you love the video, why don't you subscribe so you can see more uh, Breath of the Wild stuff um, and maybe even like other stuff like this, which would be really cool. I've got heaps of stuff in the studio, which I'm more than happy to show if people want to see it. So um, yeah, uh, that's all from me. And remember to bring your A-game.